Greetings, my friends. My name is Johnny M, and we are back to Canada's Ultimate 10 map, where, as the description says, we're helping our uncle uh, while he is recovering. And look at the number of ships. Now we have like 12 times more than he left. So he definitely is going to be very, very happy. Now I just bought this uh, specialized uh, fork, which is uh, an improved version over the default one from the game. This fork I used to use in my previous series. It's actually great. And it has two versions, one for uh, this front loader and the second one for a telehandler, which we don't have yet a telehandler. We will buy, of course, uh, in the near future, when we'll have the money. Last time, if you remember, I was using a pallet fork to load some bales, and it worked. Yeah, it worked, but uh, of course it's not uh, very suitable. This tractor X also is not suitable for bales because it is very, it's very um, light. But I just bought this new JCB 3000, not as a replacement, uh, as a as a loader, uh, mainly as a replacement for all-round tractors. Uh, this is uh, a modded one, as you just saw, I changed the color and what else? I also adjusted the speed because I looked at the JCB um, internet page and it says that actually the 3000 series has a speed of up to 80 kilometers. So I adjusted it to be 80, it used to be 70, no, I actually this mod had it at 60 kilometers, while the default in-game JCB 3000 uh, had it at 70. And finally I decided to get rid of um, my uncle's uh, combine, which I could have uh, actually get rid of it after the first uh, episode, when I uh, harvested the barley, but then I said hmm, maybe I should keep it because, you know, my uncle could uh, could not be happy for me selling it, but finally I decided to get rid of it, because we are paying uh, some decent um, maintenance costs for it. And I actually bought this um, trailer to use it uh, mainly for milk trailer, but not to transport the milk, uh, you know, to a selling point, but to this uh, bottling uh, uh, machine. At first, I couldn't I couldn't find uh, the spot to load the uh, milk, and uh, yeah, it took me a little bit of wandering around until I noticed the spot. And uh, yeah, speaking of this bottling system, um, it's quite slow, just like it used to be on my previous map. Uh, but also I noticed that it's too powerful. So uh, basically from one liter of milk as input, you get five liters of bottled milk, which is too OP for me, considering that normal milk, uh, I think it's about 400 uh, per thousand liters. And the bottled one is about uh, 1300. So uh, yeah, it really was too OP, so I went to the map and actually edited this bottling system and now it gives 2 liters of bottled milk per, per each uh, liter of uh, normal milk. Maybe in all honesty it should have been 1 to 1 ratio, because uh, yeah, but <laughs> I I left it at... Uh, at uh, Two, 2 liters, so uh, it's still a nerfing, a nerfing of uh, 2.5 times. 
but unfortunately um, as you can see this bolt link is quite slow and we already produce more milk than this machine can bottle so uh, and that is with 28 cows now think think if, if we would have like 200 cows then it would be absolutely impossible to bottle all the milk so that should be our first sell-off of this bottle of milk at I think this is pellet cell 2 and we got almost 45,000 which is not bad for a full load now the next thing what I wanted to do is uh, to make some fertilizer because I noticed there is a fertilizer making machine or factory uh, on this map so I wanted to make some so as I remember from my previous map in order to make fertilizer you need a one-to-one -one ratio of manure and liquid manure but uh, I had a surprise because it looks like this factory is different it doesn't require manure and liquid manure it requires only simple manure so I had to get rid of this load of uh, liquid manure and I found a buying point which is like a farmer something uh, it's cheap it's cheap but it at least it allowed me to get rid of this um, uh, slurry let's see how much we'll get yeah 1300 so uh, really it doesn't make sense to to sell it but at least I got rid of it so now we're gonna <laughs> go and load some manure but surprise surprise I don't have a bucket so I had to go to the store and buy me a bucket but not a telehandler bucket but a simple bucket for this front loader which has a fairly uh, small capacity it's under two two thousand liters and i had this surprise yeah it looks like the manure is too heavy for my tractor so i went to the garage where i knew i had a, a weight and i attached it to the back then went back and this time it worked so I proceed to loading my <clears throat> trailer with manure and yes I'm using this trailer for everything for manure but also for cow uh, feed uh, just just as I did for my uh, trailer uh, I mean the tanker trailer I was using it for milk and then for slurry so uh, yeah <laughs> Uh, but it's a game, you know, yeah, if it if it allows us to do this, but then why not? So I unloaded a full load of manure I Fast forwarded just a little bit the time saw that it's, it's actually working and it is producing fertilizer But again surprise surprise this factory actually produces liquid fertilizer unlike the solid one that we used to produce on my previous series so yes actually for the first time in years really for the first time in years I will use a uh, well no actually I think I uh, I used a liquid fertilizer briefly on my rattlesnake series I think yeah but before that I haven't used them for years uh, and I and I actually forgot that they're they're uh, they're quite slow. I look at uh, the speed is one, 11 uh, maximum 12 kilometers an hour. Unlike the solid uh, fertilizer spreaders, which I think are about uh, 20 kilometers. Yeah, uh, and it also has this um, these arms, which are not very good in tight spaces. So with the solid fertilizer you don't get this problem okay <clears throat> um, last time I mod mowed uh, this field or a part of it with my ancient New Holland tractor and if you remember we used to mow it at a very very slow speed like 10 kilometers 
Now with a more powerful tractor, as you can see, these uh, mowers uh, allow it to work at 21 kilometers an hour, which is a lot better. So now I will remove this part of the field and record the course to be used later for rowing and then for baling. And yeah, we don't have a baler yet. So uh, we'll have to buy one. This structure was on the way, so I moved it. <clears throat> I think two more passes and we're done. I save the course and it's time to launch the rowing. In the meantime, I'll leave this mower implements here. Oh, so uh, pardon me, I said we don't have uh, a baler, but we do actually, yeah. Uh, last time we bought, we bought one. Yeah, I completely forgot. That's because today I, I recorded the next episode, so... Yeah, I forgot we already had a baler, which is great. So the grass is already mowed, I can fast forward the time. So yeah, we had a baler, but <clears throat> one thing we didn't have is a bale wrapper. Because last time we just baled the grass and then I dropped some of my grass bales into the fermenter and produced some, uh, some silage this way. So I guess today we're gonna buy a bale wrapper. But I had to stop the time and sell before midnight in order to be able to return as much of uh, the loan as I could. And let's hope I'm, I will not forget to do it, to actually do it. So now I will also sell uh, all the wool that I have. So I, I normally turn the gamma uh, one or two notches up just so the, my videos during the night are uh, a little bit brighter because when you encode the video, each time you encode the video it becomes darker. So I'm encoding one once and then when I upload it to YouTube it's encoded the second time. So. Yeah, it usually becomes more darker, so uh, it's it's a good habit to turn a little bit up uh, the gamma. So as I said, I bought these balers, uh, not baler, the wrapper. So now, uh, at least for the time being, we will produce our silage this way. Because it's fun, just until you get bored, of course. <laughs> Yeah, so I will, I will bail about a third of, of my bales. 
Well, I will wrap them. Yeah, I, mean, I keep saying bailing, but it's wrapping. Or maybe even a little bit more than a third, like maybe 40% of them. Yeah, and one more thing we are gonna buy today is this bale loader, which I haven't used one for again for, for years. <laughs> yeah, because uh, since I discovered this automatic unloading uh, trailers, I had no real reason to, to use uh, uh, such a bale loader, but uh, I decided why not because it's it's fun it's interesting to to make some changes from time to time so yeah um, I wrapped up 15 bales which I unloaded next to the cow uh, building and then the rest of the bales are just grass that will be dedicated uh, to mainly to sheep but also some of them as grass food for, for the cows. So we got one full load and the second load I think it's not going to be full. So yeah, in this episode we actually bought a lot of equipment so and did uh, you know a lot of activities sometimes sometimes uh, the episodes are more scarce in uh, in the you know the number and the variety of activities. So guys, as usual, uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed uh, this video, then give it a thumbs up. If no, then give it a thumbs down. It's your choice. I hope to see you all next time and I wish you all a great day. So you'll see me for uh, a couple of seconds more as I'm uh, dropping this uh, milk to my bottling company. Yeah, but now I'm really signing off. Bye bye.